Now request our Vice President, Mr. Ramakrishnan, to give the welcome address. Good evening, everybody. On behalf of uh, Indocine Appreciation Foundation, we are very happy to extend a warm welcome to the distinguished guests who have accepted our invitation to participate in this grand Korean Film Festival today. Uh, we are indeed honored by the presence of uh, the Honorable Minister, Industries Minister, Thiru Tangam Tenaras, uh, to be in our midst. Um, I welcome you, uh, Honorable Minister, for sparing your valuable time and being in our midst. Uh, this Korean Film Festival would not have been possible without the active support of uh, the Honorable Consul General of the Republic of Korea. Mr. Young Chip Kwan, we extend a warm welcome to you and we thank you for your continued support. Um, as uh, the Korean Consulate uh, has been uh, associated with the Indocine Appreciation Foundation from 2002 onwards, and we've been organizing a Korean film festival every year in Chennai. 
we have uh, also presented a retrospective of uh, Kim Ki Duk in the past, and at the instance of the Korean consulate in Chennai, we had the privilege of uh, having three media persons also traveling to South Korea to understand uh, the uh, filmmaking there and to have a cultural association between uh, the Tamil film uh, industry and Korea. And um, we also had the privilege of celebrating the 100 years of Korean cinema in Chennai in the year 2019 with the support of the Consulate General of the Republic of Korea. We thank you for your active support, sir. We, on behalf of uh, ICAF, uh, welcome uh, Mrs. Purnima Bhagiraj, who has been supportive in our uh, annual film festivals for pa past uh, more than 15 years uh, and uh, helping us uh, in improving the festival year on year. Um, this uh, package of uh, Korean films, uh, five uh, films this year, uh, are of very different genre. I hope you will have excellent viewing in the next uh, two days. Thank you. I welcome you all. Thank you, sir. May I request Ms. Pooja Pagarai to say a few words? Good evening to one and all. My respects to our Honorable Minister of Department of Industries, Thiru Thangam Tenar Sisa, the Honorable Consul General of Republic of Korea, Mr. Yang Si Kwon, I hope I pronounced right. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Ramakrishnan, the Vice President, and Mr. Thangaraj, and all the distinguished guests who have assembled here today. Thank you so much. I really deem this as an honor to have invited me here today. I haven't watched so much of Korean films, but recently during the pandemic, I did watch a couple of them, and one of them really touched my heart. Uh, the name was, it's an old film actually, not too old, after 2000 only. Um, why it was so touchy was because I think the sentiments echoed in the Korean way of life and our Indian way of life is quite similar. The emotions and the sentiments that um, are felt by the people are quite similar to what I feel. Because this was a very touchy story about a small child and uh, his grandmother. The mother who is actually looking for work, she has lost her job and she's looking for some new employment. She leaves the she leaves her little son, you know, maybe around six or eight years old. She leaves him with her mother in a far off, a very isolated place. It's more like a hill area and a, more like a forest and sort of place. And uh, this boy who's used to living in the city and having all the KFC chicken and you know the fries and the pastries and things like that has to suddenly go and live with his grandmother, who lives a very frugal sort of life and very um, isolated actually. So he is so annoyed, you know, and his, uh, looking at his grandmother. She's a very frail woman who can't talk and she's bent double. She cannot, but she does all her own work on her own. And uh, he actually hates her. But she is being the grandmother, you know. She just tolerates him. She gives him to everything he wants. She listens to him and she, I mean, um, she just goes out of her way to um, be kind to him in spite of him insulting her. You know, he's a small child, but in, he tries to hurt her by saying words and things about her. But, you know, she, her tolerance level is so much. You know, she's a grandmother and she has seen young children, so she's so tolerant of this child. And towards the end of the film, you know, how he changes and how he starts admiring her and, you know, her selflessness is what is all this film is about. And it so touched my heart because it is a sentiment that we echo so much in our country. So I really enjoyed this film so much and I really want to uh, watch more films. I've been asking Mr. Tangaraj to suggest some good uh, films you know, because I really love films which have got a lot of sentiment and meaning and affection and all that, more than the actual violence and stuff like that. Though I know the Parasite film has been such a big hit recently, but I still haven't watched that film. 
I would any day love to watch films like this. And um, thank you so much. I was really looking forward to watching more films, but if time permits, I would definitely love to come and watch the films tomorrow or day after. Uh, thank you so much for giving me this opportunity, and uh, I hope to visit uh, Korea someday. And thank you so much for the hospitality and the lovely Korean vegetarian food, which I really enjoyed today. Thank you so much. Thank you, Madam Indasa. I saw the film two years back. And the two films which you have mentioned about the Cannes Film Festival, yes. Two films, Korean films have won the awards. And we already request the Council General to arrange to get the films for Chennai International Film Festival, which is scheduled from 15th to 22nd December. We hope we will be arranged to get the film also, Korean films, more films for this year. We have, in fact, we requested for a retrospective of earlier directors, Yung Kwan Tim, or even Kim Kutuk films also can be arranged. Now we request the Honorable Minister to give a special address. Honorable Consul General of the Republic of Korea, Mr. Yeon Si Kwan, the guest of honor, Mrs. Purnima Bhagiraj, senior artist, and Mr. Ramakrishnan, the vice president, Mr. Sivan Kannan, president, Mr. Tangaraj, uh, general secretary, distinguished guests. Ladies and gentlemen, would I never recommend a Banaka A warm greetings to the wonderful gathering of distinguished guests, the Korean community, and of course, the Korean movie fans present here. It is indeed an honor to be in your midst today, and I really take this opportunity to, to thank the Consul General for having given me this wonderful opportunity. It is an honor to be a part of the ongoing K-Wave movement that has created such a significant impact on the music industry, film and television industry and culture across the world and across platforms. I thank the Consulate General again for hosting the film festival phenomenally and for the pleasure of being here. Sir, actually I was quite thrilled when you were telling us the number of Tamil films which you had viewed. I'm quite, sure, I'm quite sure that some of us would have definitely missed few of them. And uh, I'm really glad that you have viewed majority of the films. Uh, really an impressive uh, list of uh, Tamil movies which you have uh, watched. Um, I'm really very happy about it. Ladies and gentlemen, the Indian youth particularly uh, Tamil Nadu has been playing a huge role in the South Korean market in the last decade with several K-pop fans of BTS and Blackpink and of course the K-drama viewers. This has been so due to some of the intriguing similarities between Tamil Nadu and South Korea which dates back to 2000 years ago when a Tamil princess married a Korean king. It is a beautiful uh, relationship which started uh, centuries ago and still it continues. It's a great thing which is still happening, sir. Our trade relations have also brought in some linguistic connections as well. On a personal note, I should also mention here, it is not out of place to mention here that my daughter, Hidaya Tangam, is also no stranger to the K-Wave and has been a huge fan for some time picking up the Korean phrases after binge watching several K-dramas and K-movies. Hence, I am quite ecstatic when I was personally invited by the Honorable Korean Consul General Mr. Eng Se Kwan to inaugurate this 2022 Korean Film Festival. So on her behalf also, I should really thank you for this opportunity, sir. After going through the synapses of the five Korean movies that are going to be screened in the next three days, it piqued my curiosity to understand the nuances of Korean history, traditions, and culture. Movies such as The Face Reader will, I'm sure, touch the heart of any Tamilian due to similarities in the tradition of uh, reading one's fate. I think that is going to be screened on the 23rd, if I'm right. 
Tamil Nadu has always taken pride in catering to the largest Korean expat community in India in various sectors such as automotive, electronics, renewable energy, and even academics. I being the industry's minister, I should really, it is my duty to mention a few words about the industrial uh, connections and the presence of major industries over here. The annual showcase of Korean film celebration of Korean Day and the continuous expansion of Korean companies such as Hyundai, Hyundai Motors, Samsung Electronics, Mando and so forth is a testimony to why Tamil Nadu is an ideal environment for investment, leisure and tourism, and most importantly, livelihood. And most importantly, I should say that there is a Korean restaurant which is coming up uh, near my uh, residence here. I'm eagerly looking forward to it when it is going to be open. I think it's open or not, I don't know, but uh, that is uh, something which I really want to try, especially when my daughter is uh, here next time. The commonality has furthered, uh, furthered the relationship between South Korea and Tamil Nadu. We look forward to building a momentum in terms of trade, uh, economic and cultural growth in the bilateral relationship in the coming years. Sir. So with these few words, I would like to uh, conclude my speech and my warm greetings to one and all again, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. On behalf of the Korean Consulate as well as Interesting Appreciation Foundation, we express our sincere thanks and gratitude to the dictators who have been kind enough to accept the invitation to participate, as well as the Honorable Minister and the Council General and Ms. Punya Pagaraj. So on behalf of the RKSR, we thank all the people who accept our invitation. Before the starting of the film, praise yourself for a high octone dose of entertainment. Introducing Elite, a group dance team consisting of 10 members. They have started their journey since 2020. Their achievements include second runners-up in COP contest 2021, representative Chennai and winners of the Chennai regional round. Let us welcome the members performing Karishma, Subhiksha, Samiksha, Sanika, Kasini and Navida. So after this dismantling of the chairs and tables, you can see this performance. Then we'll start the film. This is only for five minutes. Please wait, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Good evening, wanna come, I guess Mika. Tirutangam Tenaras, Minister of Department of Industries, Official Tamil Language, Tamil Culture and uh, Archaeology, Mrs. Pruniba uh, Bag Bagaraj, Bagaraj, okay, Honorable, you know, Cine Artist, and, and Mr. B. Ramakrishna, Vice President of Indo Cine Appreciation Foundation, and Korean Film Fans. I am very happy to meet all of you today to enjoy Korean movies together. Uh, during this you know, Korean Film Festival, five films, Assassination, Frontline, Nameless Gangster, The Face Leader, and Dongju will be played. All of them are well made, highly praised, and commercially successful. Today's movie, uh, Assassination, is also well made, very entertaining and commercially very successful. In particular, one of the lead actors was the lead actor of Squid Game, you know, Netflix's biggest hit. He was the winner of the Best Actor in American Critics' Choice Awards. When it, okay, when it comes to Korean film industry, I think you are very well aware of Parasites, the winner of Best Picture and Best Director in 2020 Academic Award. In addition, this year in the Cannes Film Festival, two Korean films got Best Director and Best Actor Award, respectively. I am very pleased to know that even during the long and difficult lockdown, 
Korean pops, dramas, movies, foods, cosmetics, and fashions have been very rapidly gaining popularity through Netflix, Amazon, and other channels. Before the pandemic, most of Korean fans were young Indians. In particular, they loved K-pop groups like BTS and Blackpink. On the other hand, during the lockdown, Korean fan base has expanded much more widely, from K-pops to K-dramas and K-films, such as Squid Game, Forced Landing of Love, Parasite. In addition to young Indians, middle-aged workers and housewives and other Indians began to become true fans of Korean uh, dramas and films. Personally, I am a big fan of Indian movies, including Tamil movies. Recently, I watched Fikran, action movie by Kamal Hassan. It was so entertaining that I didn't feel any language barrier, even though there was no English subtitle. Among Tamil movies, I enjoyed Peta by Rajinika, do you know? Yes, in Uti, Uti was really, really beautiful. Also, Asuran by Tanushi, amazing film. Also, Suralai Borutu by Surya and others. In particular, I enjoyed dancing and singing very much in the movies. It is an Indian style, was not Korean style. It was a little different, but very, very entertaining. As you know, like Indians, we Koreans really like dancing and singing, as well shown in K-pops. As you know, the Chennai has a big Korean community, and lots of Korean companies, including Hyundai and Samsung, are successfully operating. As a consul general, I want to have more Korean investments in areas of electronic vehicles and batteries and others. In particular, I am expecting the launching of the direct flight between Chennai and Incheon soon. So through direct flights, in addition to the Korean businessmen, I hope more ordinary Koreans can visit South India more easily and can have an opportunity to enjoy the beauty of Tamil Nadu, including beautiful temples, beaches, and mountains. I also strongly recommend young Indians to study Korean language. Korean language learning will help you not only enjoy K-pop dramas, movies more fully, but also give you better opportunity to study in Korean universities with scholarship and work in Korean companies. Before uh, playing today's movie, a short K-pop performance by one of well-known Tamil Nadu Indian cover dance group will be played. I hope you will enjoy it too. Enjoy K-pop performance and Korean movies. 감사합니다, 미카 나도. Thank you very much. I request the Council General to give to you his inaugural address.